Kylian Mbappe has done the weakest move in football history by leaving PSG to go to Real Madrid. That's right, I'm Ty Knight here for TK24 Sports, and I may have shocked you with that statement. You may call me a hater, damn right I'm a hater. He should have joined Arsenal. That's if Arsenal were ever in for him. But no, congratulations to Mbappe. He has done the move. It's a weak move. What is it going to do? Does it build his legacy or does it not even create a legacy? And the reason why I say that is because Real Madrid are stacked already. He goes to Real Madrid and they've got the stars. He's just going to be another piece added. They're stacked. Yes, they need a striker, an out and out striker. And can Mbappe actually fulfill that role? Can he fulfill and then build a legacy going on from there? What would have been the difference if Mbappe went to Arsenal? Don't laugh. It could have been a possibility. Ty, who are Arsenal? They're nowhere near Real Madrid's level. I hear that. I'm not going to be dumb. I'm not going to be dumb by saying and, and compare Real Madrid to Arsenal. My point is, Mbappe could have gone to Arsenal if Arsenal were better positioned. They could afford the wages and they could have afforded the 150 million signed on fee. And listen, let me just get this one point here. The 150 million is going to be paid over the duration of the contract. So he doesn't get it up front. So Arsenal could have afforded that. The 350,000 a week, they could have afforded that. Easily could they could have afforded that. But the point is this. He would have built a legacy at Arsenal. He won't build a legacy at Real Madrid. Why? Because they're stacked with stars already. Before and now, and after he's finished on four or five seasons, he would not have created a legacy. He would have gone down as a good player there. Not a fantastic player, an outstanding player. He would have gone down as a good player. We're yet to see if he can actually lead the line properly. He doesn't lead the line properly for PSG. He doesn't really lead the line for France. Let's be honest, he's not. Okay, he's going to don the number nine shirt. But if he went to Arsenal, he could have been better. He would have had the legacy. He would have had the statue next to the great number 14, Thierry Henry. Not even Uncle Ian Wright's got a statue there, for God damn it. He may have got a statue before Uncle. But my point is this. Will the Mbappe transfer go down as one to remember? Is it one that got you like, oh my God, I can't believe it happened? Because we all pretty much knew it happened. This transfer was set up since last season. It wasn't done like just happened. From last season, this was set up. Why? Because Real Madrid weren't going to pay a real transfer fee. They made out that they was paying this transfer fee, you know, in January. No, they was not. This was set up from a year ago. And that page was like, well, I want to get paid. So if I can just get a sniff of that money, oh, 150 million over five years, Real Madrid stole the dream that way. You know, we're going to take you even in a year. And Mbappe never snubbed him when Real Madrid came in for him because Real Madrid don't have that sort of money to pay in the first place. But if you break the transfer down over five years, yes, PSG wanted the money up front. Real Madrid couldn't pay up front. That's why it got delayed. There's some facts for you. That's why it got delayed. But it's still a weak move by Mbappe. It is a weak move. I'm sorry, but it really is. I'm calling it out that way. Forget the Arsenal part. It's just a weak move. You are a superstar, just like Kevin Durant is a superstar. Kevin Durant left the OKC to join the Golden State Warriors, who were winning before he got there. And they still won when he left. And Bappe, Real Madrid were winning before you got there, and they will win when you're gone. Weak move. But he's done all that to get himself and his hands on the Champions League. He thinks if he's going to go there, he's like doing a Neymar. If I leave Barcelona and I go to PSG, I'm going to be the main man. He wants jack all. The difference is Mbappe is going to win, but you're never going to win the Ballon d'Or. I'm sorry. That move is never going to get you the Ballon d'Or. You would not be a Ballon d'Or winner. I'm saying it right here, right now. Some egg in my face may come back to me in two or three seasons, but I don't think it will. I really don't. But what's your thoughts? Have I gone too far? The point of leaving your comments below is to see if I'm right, if you're with me, or if you're against me. Now, if you're against me with my thoughts, tell me why. Am I just salty? Am I just hating? And while you do that, I know you haven't subscribed yet. So what are you waiting for? Just subscribe. Leave your feedback. Share it to your heart's content. Share it to people to say, 
has this guy lost it? Has he gone too far? Or is he right? Mbappe's move to Real Madrid is the weakest move, and it's not going to test him in La Liga. It really is. It's like leaving PSG, who just dominate La Liga, just to go to La Liga. To my point, no test whatsoever. I'm Ty Knight for TK24 Sports.